just trying to help, you know, this is my beautiful wife, Maggie Al, you know, and we've been married a little 50. almost 52 years, past 52 years now. It'll be 53 in February. We met, we dated, and one night he said to me, we dated for, what, almost two years? About that. And he said to me, marry me, just out of the blue. So I said, okay. And he said, okay. My mother and father nearly fainted because I was very young, I was 17. And um, my mother did say to me, will you wait six months? So I said, okay. And they gave us a big wedding. We went to Hawaii. We invited everybody. <laughs> we had 650 people. Of course, not that many were actually invited. But <laughs> we'd go to highs and we'd say, hey, come to the wedding. Everybody. We're married next week or whatever, yeah. <laughs> Explain to us how you got to Hawaii and what happened oh. to, to the original Apollo. Yeah, all right. Well, the car, when he, Frank asked me to marry him, he asked my father. Yeah, I went to the firehouse and asked her dad. My dad was a fireman him. also. and He was a captain. He said to me, I can't believe what a brat I was. I can't believe it. He said to me, "If we, where do you want to go on a honeymoon? And I said, I'd like to go to Hawaii. And he said, well, I'm gonna, I'll have to sell my car. And I said, okay. I mean, I didn't, didn't even, bother a bit. I didn't even blink, what a brat. And he sold the car, didn't even think twice about it. How much did you get for it? $2,200. And he paid $2,800. $2,800? from the cash from the factory on the 58 pallet that I had. In fact, I had it painted the same color when it, when it came out of the factory, the same color, because they, they would do that for you. In those days, yeah, yeah. they do it anymore. So. But anyway, then he sold the car, we went to Honolulu. We had a dream vacation, didn't we? Two we, weeks vacation. Well, we went four days to Carmel first. Yeah. We had so much fun. Then we went to Hawaii. So would it be safe to say ever since you've been thinking of finding the same? Finding a 58 Impala, oh, and yeah. he has looked and looked and looked and they just weren't, if you bought one, they wanted tons of money for it because it was finished. And then he came home one day really excited. Do you remember that? Yeah, I stopped at this guy's house in Pleasant Hill and I, I, saw, I saw, saw one and I, I told her about it. And I, I, so I asked him how much he wanted for it. He said he wanted 5,000 for it. And I junk, said, it was a junk, I'm sorry. I said, I'll call you when I get home. So I called the guy and I said, would you take 3,000 for it? And I, I thought that was still too much. And he said, he said yeah, I'll take 3,000 for it. I said, I'll be over in an hour with a check. And <laughs> he was, he was. <laughs> and I got, I got it towed right out of there that day, of course, with all the parts that were with it. The guys in the shop that saw it said, because it was, the whole body had holes in it like that, it rotted through. And they were all saying, Frank's car is going to, we're going to strain our spaghetti through Frank's car. The floorboard, yeah. There oh, were holes in the floorboard. There were mice in the seats. I opened the door and the mice were running all over the place. They were living in the seats. It was a mess. I came home. And I told her, I said, it's going to cost a lot. Would you mind if I, we had this car redone to, you know, show condition? And she said, no, go ahead. Said, Not after what he did for me, I, I wouldn't said, do that. It's, it's a, I said it's going to cost you know some big money, seventy, eighty thousand dollars, and that's exactly what it ran. Took every dime we had. <laughs> and it was I worth it. Oh, absolutely. But it was worth it. I mean, the, the Spears, father and son, and Jesse finished that car, in two from top years. to bottom. Two thousand seven. Two years. It was done. In two years. And they did a beautiful job. In the first show we went to, there was 800 cars. It was in Livermore. And when we went in there, that was um, 2007. We drove we didn't in. Know, we didn't know whether we were on foot or horseback. <laughs> yeah. We didn't know what we were doing. And the guy, we just, you know, people direct us, well, put the, back, back your car right in there. Park it there. Okay. So we backed it in. And, we won the show. And you know, so uh, a guy comes over and he comes over and he says he puts a, another number on the car. I said, what, what's that for? He says, he says, you want something, he said. Yeah, that's how we found out. And he says, he says, um, well, he says, later on in the day, he says, you'll, you pull your car out with the other cars 
and you go through the line right through the main street in Cap San Diego in Livermore. So I said, we, so we did so. And uh, there was a car in front of us, and another uh, person from the show, the show giving people was standing there. And he said, he said, uh, he said, do you know what you want? I said, I think we got a second place behind that car in front of us. <laughs> I said, I don't know. So we, we get up in the line finally, and we're going through the main street in Castine and uh, Livermore, and he says, this is the, the show winning car of the show. And 800 cars were there. And then this, the bucket seats are out of a Suburban. And I wanted an air conditioner. I said to Frank, at our age, we need an air conditioner and we need a comfortable seat. The back seat is original, it's an original seat, the bench. And then Frank put a 350 um, crate. crate engine in it with four speed. I didn't want anything too outrageous, something that would run and I didn't have to mess Something that we can start up and take to the shows and bring home and not have to be worried about it not running. I mean, we're, I actually think it's keeping us young. You know, I mean, we're not getting any younger and that, we I, we just, we just feel, don't you? I feel younger and younger I every do. time I we get do. it. You know, we get in the car together when we're going to shows and he goes, isn't this fun? Yeah, this is, <laughs> you know. Um, is, is looking at this car kind of a reminder of a flat, kind of a flashback to all yes. of you? Does it remember you, oh, remind? Yeah. Does it bring back all the good times that you guys have had? Sure. Sometimes when I'm driving it, it's like I'm 16 again. And I have to be very careful because <laughs> I get crazy. You know, like I said, when I come to a stoplight and I have to gear down in it, and there are people next to me that are my age going, you know, I, I love that. And it just brings that all back. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like us? No, no regrets whatsoever with this car. None. None. No regrets. I, you know. I do it all over again. People, we see friends of ours every other day. Yeah. That Mark, fight yeah. and then they They're get divorced happy. and it's really sad. Nobody stays married anymore. Or they marry a friend of mine who's been married five times. I'm not sure what he's looking for, but it's true, isn't it? It's. He doesn't know what he's looking But it, Frank has made this life of ours oh. really happy. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm contrary. You're, you're the one that makes it work. It's made <laughs> us close, it's really true. close, you know. Not we, the car we alone. Along, we get along like this all the time. And right? our daughters, we're, we're I mean, we're, we're not less. doing this just for the camera because we, this is what we are. This is how we are. We're not putting a, anything on. Robert knows, no. We, we are. Well, oh, we fight sometimes. Don't get that wrong. <laughs> We do. Everyone but, does. But not the kind of fighting that people are doing nowadays where they stab one another. You know, not, it's, it's really sad. I don't we know. We appreciate the time that uh, you guys have figured out. Taken for this. For us. It must be boring for nope. you. Nope. I love your nope. story and I'm glad I got to hear it again.